गुड मॉर्निंग एंड जय हिंद एवरीबडी वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर टूडे दैट इज प्रैक्टिकल ज्योमेट्री एंड एज यू ऑल नो दैट वेन एवर वी स्टार्ट एनी थिंग वी बिगिन विद द इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट ओके इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट वेन एवर वी टॉक अबाउट एनी चैप्टर एनी कॉन्सेप्ट वी ऑलवेज स्टार्ट विद द इंट्रोड्यूसिंग द थिंग सो इन दिस चैप्टर प्रैक्टिकल ज्योमेट्री सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट इज टू हैव द प्रैक्टिकल ज्योमेट्री बॉक्स ठीक है दैट इज मैक्स ज्योमेट्री बॉक्स सो आई थिंक क्लास सिक्स में लगभग सारे बच्चों के पास ज्योमेट्री बॉक्स आ चुका है सो नाउ यू हैव टू ओपन योर ज्योमेट्री बॉक्स एंड वन बाय वन वी विल इंट्रोड्यूस ईच एंड एवरीथिंग व्हाट वी हैव इन आर ज्योमेट्री बॉक्स सो द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट इज रूलर वॉट इज दिस रूलर ऑल दो वी कॉल इट स्केल ठीक है हम जनरली इसको स्केल बोलते हैं बट द अदर नेम ऑफ this scale is ruler okay in mathematics we call this ruler now if you see this ruler aap is ruler mein gaur se dekho you will have two sides one is this and another one is this and both the sides numbers are written one side you have numbers written closer and one side you have written number little bit far away to each other okay which is far away to each other that is centimeter one okay that is the centimeter one and another one is written in the form of millimeter okay ek aapko diya hoga centimeter mein ek aapko diya hoga millimeter so keep in your mind we have ruler with each other we, we, you are also having a ruler i also have this ruler and remember this ruler is used to draw the line segments of given length okay suppose it is given to you that you have to draw a line segment to 5 cm 8 cm 10 cm so you have to draw the line segment with the help of this ruler only okay it's okay nathik no worry depend on the scale you see the my one the size is larger no so that is why it can be but you will be also having two parts of it now this is ruler which we have done it now now move on to the next thing this is protector so this is my protector so large no and you also have protector with you so all of you take protector in your hands take protector in your hands faster okay now let's understand beta this protector is used to draw the angles and to measure the angle as well okay suppose any angle is already drawn and you have to measure it so we can measure the angles with the help of this protector we call it protector okay now if you will see this protector you will find there are so many angles written over here starting from 0 till 180 you have the angles written here starting from 0 to 180 you have been written here all the angles given the gap of 10 10 10 ठीक है, so you have ten, twenty, thirty degree, forty degree, fifty degree like this. You have all the angles written over here. And if you want to draw sixty-seven or maybe sixty-five or sixty-three, so you have written the smaller line into it. ठीक है, smaller line भी बनी हुई है. So we will be studying it further. So this is all about protector. We use it in the form of making the angle or measuring the angle. So this is second one, protector. in in your geometry box beta there are two triangles take out both the triangles in your geometry box there are two triangles do you know about it what is the name of these uh, triangles do you know about it can you write in the chat box what is the name of these two triangles write it down faster if you know the name very good absolutely correct the name is set squares we call it set squares now we have two set square let me tell you the first one this is the first one can you tell me which kind of triangle it is you you can see this is the shape of triangle can you please tell me which kind of triangle it is this scalene triangle very good this is a scalene triangle correct and another one which you have can you tell me which triangle is this what do you think yes this is isosceles triangle you can see this side and this side is given equal so this is isosceles triangle dear students okay 
and remember in this isosceles triangle one thing this is isosceles and another thing this is right angle triangle as well look at here properly this is right angle right angle triangle as well so angle measurement in this will be this is 90 this is 45 and this is also 45 okay this is 90 degree angle this is 45 and this is also 45 once again telling you this is 90 this is 45 and this is 45 okay so remember set squares are used to draw perpendicular lines once again telling you set squares are used to draw perpendicular lines remember always fine once again telling you these two triangles are known as set squares and these are used to draw the perpendicular lines so this is also done now move on to the next part very important tool of our geometry box can you guess it what is the name of it very important tool of your geometry box what is the name of it tell me faster what is the name of this tool compass very good this is called compass beta and compass me you will see this is not divider my dear this is compass divider is another one so in compass you will find there are two parts look at here this is two parts one part where you have needle another part you have a hole on which you put the pencil okay now let me tell you using the compass there are certain rules the first thing is the needle thing is always fixed we fix it we move this part theek hai hum isko move karte hain beta this is movable part remember in this we always keep one pencil inside it i told you to have two pencils today na one pencil you will be always putting inside it always it will be inside only theek hai एंड जब भी हम इसमें पेंसिल पुट करते हैं हमेशा याद रखो अपने हाथ में इस तरीके से इसको लेवल बना के देखते हैं पेंसिल शुड नॉट बी पुट लॉन्गर पेंसिल शुड नॉट बी पुट शॉर्टर पेंसिल की निब और इस राउंडर की निडल की निब सॉरी इस कंपस की निडल की जो निब होती है ये दोनों एकदम बराबर से होना चाहिए बेटा एकदम बैलेंस होने चाहिए ओके प्लीज डू इट फास्टर do it faster put the pencil inside it and make it balanced dono bilkul barabar se hona chahiye pencil and the needle and always remember whenever we put pencil inside it the pencil should be very sharp okay pencil should not be uh, that too much of thick hai na nib should not be too much of thick it should be always sharp in pencil theek okay? hai so this is called compass now why we use it the use of pencil is so the use of compass is to draw the angles isme hum angle bhi draw karte hain to draw the circles as well to you we can compare the angle we can draw the angle we can also even make the copy of an angle so remember always we have so many use of this compass it is a very very important tool of geometry box we can draw the angles we can compare the angle we can draw the copy of an angle as well and remember always that you can also draw the circle with the help of this okay now remember what is the use of pencil in it the pencil will be helping you for drawing the figure because this is only the movable part aur isko hum kya karte hain hamesha fix rakhte hain so this is compass now after compass we have another one that is divider we call this one as divider what is the difference between a divider and compass in divider you have one side needle another side also needle but when you have compass you have one side needle but another side another side you have pencil to move on okay so remember this is divider now why we use it it is also help it will also help you for measuring the thing theek okay? hai for measuring any angle 
और इट इज द हेल्पिंग मटेरियल आप बोल सकते हो इसको इसका यूज भी आप कर सकते हो इसको आप नहीं भी यूज करना चाहो तो भी चलेगा ठीक है यू कैन यूज इट ऑल्सो फॉर गेटिंग द एक्यूरेट मेजरमेंट एंड इफ सपोज यू आर नॉट यूजिंग इट इफ यू थिंक दैट यू हैव ऑलरेडी ड्रॉन इट परफेक्टली देन ऑल्सो इट इज फाइन सो यू कैन यूज इट एंड इधर यू डोंट यूज इट बोथ आर ओके फाइन सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट ऑफ ज्योमेट्री बॉक्स नाउ I want you uh, to reply in the chat box, please. How many objects are there in your geometry box? Faster, please. Reply in the chat box. Now we are discussing NCERT exercise fourteen point one. Now, what is fourteen point one? Let's understand this. It is telling draw a circle of radius three point two centimeter. So before I start drawing the circle, first let me tell you how to draw the line of three point two centimeter. So what we will be doing, beta. Remember, whenever we draw a line, all of first what we do, we start from the initial point of the scale. ठीक है हम सेंटीमीटर वाला पोर्शन अपनी स्केल में ओपन करेंगे एंड वी विल बी यूजिंग द इनिशियल पॉइंट ऑफ द लाइन एंड वी विल बी यूजिंग द सेकंड पेंसिल व्हिच वी हैव राइट नाउ ठीक है कंपास वाली पेंसिल को वी विल नॉट टच वी विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द अनदर पेंसिल व्हिच वी हैव सो दिस इज माय 3.2 वी विल बी मूविंग टिल 3 एंड 3 के बाद वी हैव स्मॉलर लाइंस वी विल बी मूविंग टू Two parts of the smaller line. So this is now, this is now the line segment of three point two. Now what I will do? I will make this O. O means center, and here I will be writing. It can be A, it can be B, it can be C, it can be D. It can it can be according to you what name you want to write. Now it is telling you have to draw a circle with. Radius three point two. So we have drawn the radius now. Now we will we'll be drawing the circle with the help of this. Remember, beta. Whenever we draw the circle with the help of compass, we place our needle part on O, and we only spread our compass till A point. We will spread like this, okay? And now we will be drawing the circle with the help of our compass done now my circle is drawn okay let me tell you once again what i have drawn i have first drawn the line segment which was given of 3.2 तो सबसे पहले हम स्केल लेंगे स्केल के हेल्प से वी विल बी ड्रॉइंग द लाइन सेगमेंट ऑफ द मेजरमेंट ऑफ 3.2 सेंटीमीटर ओके यस अवंतिका यस बेटा इट्स नेसेसरी टू पुट ऑन ओ बिकॉज वेन एवर वी ड्रॉ सर्कल इट शुड बी ऑलवेज ड्रॉन विद द हेल्प ऑफ सेंटर बेटा ठीक है हमेशा सेंटर से ड्रॉ करना चाहिए बिकॉज आई विल टेल यू वाई बिकॉज वेन वी विल बी ड्रॉइंग मोर सर्कल विद दिस पॉइंट it will be difficult by using this point okay so always start from the center then place your needle of compass on o and with the help of 3.2 cm radius that means a point aap pencil aapki kahan honi chahiye a point pe aur uske baad you will be just rotating your compass agar aapse compass rotate nahi ho raha hai to aap apni copy ko bhi rotate kar sakte ho beta Uh, no avantika it's not necessary that you can always name it center o only but usually center in exam always it is usually written center o aap bhi jab ye exercise try karoge you will find always everywhere it is written center o theek hai because o is also represent just like little bit of circle no so that is why generally circle mein center hamesha o diya hota hai but you can choose any of the circle which you want it okay So I hope most of you have drawn it. 
those who have drawn it raise your hand fast remember students whenever we draw any circle always write down the radius measurement here only hamesha yahan pe likha hona chahiye beta if it is of 3.2 write down 3.2 if it is of 4 cm write it down 4 cm now let's do another question which is given that is you have to draw a circle of diameter 8 cm now how we will do this always remember whenever we have to draw a circle we need radius theek hai but is question mein to radius diya nahi hai we have been given the diameter so you are knowing if we know the diameter we can take out radius how we can take out radius by doing it half diameter ko if we will do the half we will get to know the radius so 8 divided by 2 which will give us 4 cm ha na so we will have the radius 4 cm now what we will do we will be using the same concept now first we will be taking our scale or ruler we will be draw, draw, drawing the line segment of 4 cm okay here i will write it down 4 cm here i will write it down center o and here i will give the name like p i am giving another name you can also write it down then the name according to you now why i did it half let me tell you beta remember diameter se circle draw nahi kiya jata hai circle draw hota hai radius se and radius aapko di hi nahi hai question mein so radius hum kaise nikalenge diameter ko half karke so diameter how much it was given 8 so radius will be half radius will be 4 cm so now i got the radius after getting the radius i will draw the line segment of 4 cm only for drawing the circle okay mehul after doing 4 cm radius i will take this center o i will put my needle of compass on o look at here on o i will spread my compass in such a way that my pencil should be on another point another point matlab last point okay and now i will be rotating my pencil or maybe compass in such a way that i will get the circle yes see this okay this is the circle now so remember students whenever you draw the circle you need to take care of the radius which is given in the question very properly so that's all for today we have drawn the circles now i want to give you some homework please draw the circle of three different radius radius can be as per your choice okay you can choose by your own what is the measurement but whatever measurement you are taking you have to write it down there okay this is a radius 3 cm this is a radius 4 cm or 5 whatever it is okay so for homework of today is you have to draw three circles of different different radius